Welcome to another episode of Life Outside the Box. I am your host, Extra the Director, and I'm here with a very special guest. This is my second female guest on this show. This is Kiana. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. How you feel? You're the second female on here. I, I wanted to get you on first, but you know, things happen, time schedules and all, That's and all right. that. Yeah. But um, how you feel? I'm good. I'm great. I'm happy to be here. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, Let's start off by, by I, I looked at your Instagram and I see you have your own type of sense of style when it comes to sneakers, even fashion clothes and hats and different things. And you do something very special with hats, is that, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. right so can, can you uh, tell the people what you do? Um, so I customize fitted checkers, um, also like beanies. I do everything by hand. So I stitch and sew every single piece. Um, by hand, that's one of my more popular pieces. I have an overall brand, but the hats is more of my direction right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm very versatile in style, so that is something that is one of my stronger suits, and I'm just kind of looking to get everybody exposed to that, because that is something that I feel like everybody could get into. It's like right. a staple piece that I have right now. Um, so yeah. That's good, that's good. I wear a lot of hats, my forehead big, so I gotta cover it, so you know, I'm, I might need it. I'm mad that you ain't bring one. Everybody can find loving hats. I got one for you. Well, we, we, <laughs> I need a special life outside the box. <laughs> I got you. Um, so that's dope, that's really dope. All right, so tell me what you bought for us here today. Okay, so today I brought one of my favorite silhouettes of the Jordan, that is Chicago tools, actually. Uh, this is my favorite uh, silhouette, really because it's kind of like a play on like what when Jordan actually went more towards a Lux lane. Um, so they took, they removed the check from like the first Jordan, which was the Jordan one. Mm -hmm. They removed the check and they tried to take it more down, like a more of a. A classy, a classy vibe where you can like wear these shoes with any type of attire. Um, so this shoe was actually created by both the maker of the Jordan One and mm -hmm. the Air Force One, which is two of my other really favorite silhouettes. Yeah, for sure. So these, um, these mean a lot to me, really, um, because the first Jordan that I ever owned was the Jordan Two, was the Jordan okay. Two Low. Uh, it was the midnight blues with the university blue, right. uh, the white midnight blue and university right. um, blues. Those were the first Jordans that I ever owned. I like begged my mom to go in the store and get those for me. So these mean a lot to me. I just actually got a great pair of these. Yeah, I see. I these are, these are in really good condition. It looked brand new then. Yeah, right? exactly. So these these are very special to me. I see y'all women with small feet. Like they y'all get it. Y'all get them all. Man. Always come up on them some them good pairs. So now is this your is your favorite sneaker of all time or do you have another pair of sneakers that you can consider that's above these? Cuz this I, I don't mean to cut you off, but this is a legendary sneaker and it's very very underrated. Uh, we were talking before we started filming and I think we all agreed that the twos were very slept on. Yeah. They, they're not as popular as all the other ones and they're not retro as much. Um, so to see a pair of twos here, I had my man Amp on the show and he, he was gonna bring his Chicago twos, but he chose to bring a Bape instead. And it, 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 really, it really is a good feeling to see these because I haven't seen them in so long up close. So I'm, I'm glad you brought these in. So like I was saying, is this your, is this your favorite shoe? Or is, um, do you have some, a, another type of meaning for this shoe and do you have another favorite shoe that you can tell us about? I would honestly say these are my favorite shoe. I mean, there's a lot of different colorways that the tools come in, but right. this particular silhouette is my favorite because I feel like it's a clean, classic look. You can, me personally, I can throw this on with anything. You see the jacket I have on now. Right. This can go with that. I can literally throw this on with anything, jeans, anything, pants. They stack very, really well over these. Um, 
puts it this particular style of shoe. So I would definitely say that the twos are my my favorite overall shoe like ever. Um, like I said, there's there's different types of um, even Jordans. Like Jordan One is another classic shoe that I'm, I'm that's one of my favorites, right. really because it's a clean look. I like a clean. You can throw that on with anything type yeah. of look. Ones and Elevens, I feel like you could throw on with a suit. Right. And still exactly. be and still be. And this shoe was actually designed for that purpose. Like really? this shoe was designed so that you can throw it on with like a suit. That's why the check was removed. Oh, and you told me something honestly, that I didn't know about. Yeah, the like they do the leather, the, the leather quality on there, and then also like the faux, the faux uh, iguana skin. They mm -hmm. also do that on there, so it can be like more of a, like I said a luxe look, right. so that you can throw that on with any type of attire. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite shoe overall for sure. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, Give me a story um, when you, along along your journey of you know shopping for sneakers. Have you ever stood on a line? Have you ever had somebody steal a pair from you? I want to know what story do you have that's most iconic to you in your sneaker journey, and you know tell the public what, what's going on with with that. Um, to be honest, I definitely do. Uh, one okay. time out shopping regularly, I walked into like a little mom and pop shop. Uh, they sold sneakers. I didn't think I was gonna find anything in the shop because I'm not easily I don't I don't I'm not easily drawn to a lot of sneakers. So I walked in, didn't see anything I liked like that. Uh, I was on my way out and they had like a glass display. Um, I looked through the glass display. They had like a pair of dunks way in the back collecting dust. Um, mm. The box was very like it was like an OG box. So I was I was interested in the in the shoe and I asked the store owner about the shoe. He didn't even have a proper price point on the shoe. But it was like, um, it was a pair of Dunk Lows. Um, I asked him about the shoe, it was like, uh, I think they called it the baseball stitches. Okay, uh, yeah, so, I know exactly what you mean. Right, so um, I asked him about those, he didn't have a price point on them, and he ended up giving me them for like 50 bucks. Um, they just so happened to be my size at that. It was oh, one pair wow. left. It was meant for you to have those. Exactly, just right. so happened to be my size, and I bought them 50 bucks. I went home, did my research, this was probably like in 2020, and they just so happened to be like a pair from like 2009. Okay. And um, I got them for the super low, and it was like- How much were they worth? Um, the, re the retail price was probably like a hundred bucks. Okay. Um, I didn't really do research on how much they were worth at the time, because right. I'm all about wearing my shoes. I don't really like to put anything up. I wear my shoes. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, we so hate I resellers. Yeah, I wear we my hate shoes them. on site. So. But I, I asked you how much were they worth, because you caught them for 50 and they retailed at a hundred. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, yes, the sneaker was an older sneaker, but at the same time, the, the way these resellers have it now, that shoe could have been worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know that's right. I mean? yeah. So, and, and that's what kind of kills me with the resellers is how they hike up the prices and they take away from the love of the shoe. You know? Exactly. We, we in this community and this culture, we love sneakers to the point where it's not even about it being a Jordan or it being a Nike. It's about how the sneaker made us feel at what time that we were in our lives, like, you know, like a Bo Jackson or a, a, a Deion Sanders shoe or something like that. It'll bring back memories. Right. But for the resellers, it's more so like, all right, here goes a shoe that I know everybody's gonna buy. How can I make $300 off this shoe that I only bought for 200? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it, it pisses me off. And I know a lot of y'all in this community, it pisses y'all off too. We need to stop these resellers at any cost. But, um, so back here, so so let me ask you, uh, is there a sneaker that you don't have in your collection? Because you got a lot of sneakers, so is there a sneaker in your collection that you don't have, I mean, excuse me, is there a sneaker that you don't have in your collection that you absolutely must have? What is your holy grail sneaker? Um, I have two strong contenders. I'd really say it's the 04 Mellow 2s. Um, that's the white with the baby blue. And that's the right, and the yellow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's always been eye-catching for me. And then there's the Don C to the beach, the beach tone, the uh, mm -hmm. beach colorway. Those are also, because like I said, this plays with the, the luxe version of a sneaker. Yeah. So like that is super luxe in my opinion. And I feel like that is, that is that issue. Uh, definitely that I don't have, that I would definitely like to have in my collection one day. Right, yeah. And I, I love the Don C, uh, the collab with Don C because the, the quilted uh, cross stitching on the shoe it gives it a whole nother look that's it, it doesn't even it, you know it's a two mm -hmm. but it looks like so much more once he did a collab with don c and, and, yeah very yeah. luxurious very luxurious and it, it, it's an amazing shoe and i'm so glad you bought these i haven't seen a pair of twos i i haven't seen a pair of twos up close in probably 15 years no, i'm really? gonna be honest with you yeah. yeah i've never owned a pair of twos 
um, I, very good shoe, yeah. but I, I've never owned a pair. So I, to see them here, it kind of, you know, it takes me back a little bit to when I was younger and seeing them for the first time. And they, and it's a crisp pair. It's not. Yeah. It's like there's no blemishes or nothing Listen, on them. And love them. the shit, the, the box, the box is a little bit creased, but the sneaker yeah. ain't. That's what's crazy about sneaker it. But it, it's real. It's really yeah. dope, and it's in a really good condition. And I appreciate you for bringing this here, man. This is a special treat for us here, um, man. Chicago tools. I, I can't even believe these is here. Yeah. All right, so yeah, thank, I want to thank you for bringing these here, man. I haven't seen them in so long, and it really brings back a dope feeling to when they first came out. Um, I appreciate you for coming here with these. Thank you so much. You. My name is Extra the Director, and this has been Life Outside the Box. All right, guys, now we've reached a part of the show where I take a sneaker out of my personal collection and I unbox it right here on the show. And um, today I went a little different. Um, I went with the Nike Martine Rose, which is actually the Air Monarchs. Um, and before I even open this box, you know, I, I felt like I have to say, I, I'm not a big fan of predominantly pink sneakers. Um, but the reason why I got these, when I seen them on the sneakers app, they were, they were extremely different. I know a lot of y'all like the Balenciagas and stuff like that, the big bulky shoes. And I'm not really too into high fashion like that. But when I seen these, these kind of reminded me of them with just a, 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 a twist of it that still kind of fit my lane. So I bought in um, the Martine Rose Hair Monarchs. And for those of you that don't know who Martine Rose is, I think you should Google her because she is uh, a very big figure in the fashion world and, uh, and she's based out of London. Um, she has done multiple collabs with Nike in the past. She also has a lot of different uh, collaborations when it comes to track suits, um, jackets, blazers, pants, anything. Uh, Martine Rose is a very, very, very big iconic figure in the sneaker industry, in the fashion industry. And she's somebody that you really should pay attention to moving forward. Um, this is just one of the additions of her collabs with Nike that I really felt stood out a lot to me. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of pink sneakers, but besides the, the dark pink foam pilots that released um, a while back, these are the only ones that I, uh, I bought myself that were all pink like this. And I think these are a very, very, very good sneaker. And extremely comfortable at the same time like i said it's, it's very bulky like a balenciaga that you know a lot of people like to wear it's very bulky and bulges out in certain places and it just it just looks really different and it comes in three different colorways it got the pink here it has an all black colorway and it has a white and navy blue colorway as well so you guys might want to check that out like i said google martine rose you'll see what she's about and um there you have it all pink nike monarchs martine rose edition